What's up, YouTube? Uh, this is my review of the Dolica Pro Line aluminum tripods. I have to distinguish aluminum because apparently there's a carbon fiber model. I have ha I have a 62 here, which is actually broken, so I just have it for size difference and my fully functional uh, uh, 73. Uh, over there. Um, price difference, okay. The Delica 62 is on on Amazon is like 40 bucks right now, okay? And right now the 73 is 84. Yeah, it's 84. Um, original price on the 73 is 120, so even if it was at full price, it's still not a big investment. Um, for these, these were my first tripods. Actually, I think I had a... No, this was this was my second tripod. I got another one that was cheap, and I got it. And uh, um, then I got I moved up to this one because I wanted something else. And I saw that this thing could do a really cool thing. Um, both of these models, all the Delica Pro lines will do this, I think. I'm not sure about the current. The Pro line aluminums will do this. They have a nearly 90-degree leg angle, maximum leg angle. And there are three independent legs. Um, there's three stops on here. Got this first one that it sits into normally. Then a second one. And a, a third one. And uh, you just pull this out however far you want it to go. Or you pull the other way out and you move the leg and clamp it down. Yeah. Uh, the 62 has a four piece telescope, has four piece telescoping legs. With the three, no, with the three clamps, this little clamp system, little clamp system going on down there. Uh, I think there might be. There's this style of bubble level on the tripod itself with a compass that doesn't work because it's showing the sun as north. I don't think so. Um, uh, you can tell this thing has been through hell. <laughs> um, this loosens up, allows that go up or down. This one comes with a. Uh, let's try that again. This loosens up, goes up and down. Tighten that down. Usually moves it. Loosen it up. This comes with a ball head. And uh, ball heads are cool because they're really simple. There's really not much that can go wrong with a ball head. Uh, Simple, one, one twist, tension, uh, really simple, Keep it minimal thinking, really, this is very user friendly, uh, all the legs are, the tension on the legs are all adjustable, with the newer pro lines, they're five millimeter keys, mine was a six originally, and the only reason why I remember this, because I robbed one off of my other, my newer one, and it wasn't the same size. Uh, I could be wrong. I'll correct myself if I am. Uh, there is a hook that comes on the bottom. I always take them off. Don't know why, and then I'll lose them. Tighten this down so I can flip this thing up. Really light, the 62. Has a little rubber foot that can rotate, or it can, you can rotate down to expose them. Ah, oh, I got bugs all over the place that you can expose a, I'm assuming, aluminum or steel uh, spike. I would guess steel, but I could be wrong. They haven't rusted. Uh, anything else I need to comment on this? Um, with the 62, you get much thinner. Legs. Much more thin. Much thinner. Yeah, much thinner. I don't know what the word is. Legs. To me, it's just like those. just makes it more likely to bend. But it is aluminum. So. Uh, aluminum's pretty, th it's pretty stiff. The ball head will come off. Um, I would show you, but I'm not going to. And you can replace it with that. Uh, this is the 72. It's uh, $84. I've had this thing for 
about a year now, I think. No, not even a year yet. Uh, I love the head. That's about it. I probably would have gotten this size if it would have come with that head. Uh, that head is amazing for the price point. It's 84 bucks. I think I got it for 90 or something like that. But as you can see, there's bugs all over my camera too. Camera's not a part of it. Uh, with this one, you get beefier legs. Um, uh, with a, it's only a three-piece leg system. So when you pack them up, this one definitely will be bigger just because it is bigger. So, and it is heavier because the head. Um, everything is the same, essentially. Same locking mechanism. It is plastic. Uh, same leg system with the max, uh, a near 90 degree maximum extension length or angle. Uh, same mechanism for putting tension on that. But the head. The head is the biggest difference. It's the only difference, really, other than the beefiness of the legs and this tube itself. Um, this is a uh, they call it the pan head. Um, I went out in the winter with this thing and it worked just fine. Uh, very fluid motion. Uh, very fluid. Has uh, little indicators, angle indicators for when you're doing pans. Has three levels on the head itself. And I think that's it for the head. And then the tripod will have level there um you know five millimeter allen keys i think i don't have my allen wrenches on me so i'm going with five so you can adjust the tension if you think they're too tight you can loosen them up if you think they're too loose you can tighten them up if you want to take a leg off you can go ahead and do that too i don't suggest it it's a little hard to get them back on this one comes with a hanger as well but i don't have it on there hook not a hanger i just hit my mic i'm sorry guys um the Another big difference is you get this huge shoe from here to here. That's the shoe. No, it's, can't see it there. And there, there. No. Uh, I could just take it off, but it requires two hands. I only have one right now. Uh, um, I hit my mic again. Sorry, guys. Um, uh, yeah, it's a big shoe. I can show you the shoe. For my other one, that's the shoe for uh, the 62, right there. Tiny little thing. I have a cork pad. They both have all have cork cork pads. I'm not about to go ape crap on all these bugs. So this is a Dolica Proline series, the aluminum series. Um, I will say, for the price, you can't beat them. You just can't. They are nearly indestructible. This thing has been with me for six years now, I would say, nearly six years, and has that. That's the damage it has, and I've broken the head. But six years, been through all my moving around, all my throwing stuff and fits and not treating stuff nicely, and uh, the only thing is, is this is broken with this head. If you get this tripod, know that this head, this top, can break. I broke the screw on that one. Didn't take the time to replace it. And this little screw will come out eventually. So to fix that, if it, if you, maybe if you just take it out to start with, when you first get it, put some Loctite on that screw and put it right back in. It will prevent that. But I have two of these because I lost this. I lost this at one point. And I wanted that piece, so I got another one. And instead of being the smart DIY fixer I am today, um, I just got a whole nother one. Because I could. They're that cheap. You can't do that. Really light. I don't know what the weight is. I'll probably weigh them at some point. I'll look up their weight online to uh, and flash it on the screen or something. Well, this is the Delica Proline tripod, aluminum tripod. Uh, range in price from 40 to almost $90. And we are getting some 
gorgeous lighting in here. So I'm gonna get going before all these bugs eat me even more. I'll give you a little sign, but um, stay tuned on the station. Um, I'm doing this video in response to Chase on two wheels uh, asking about the Delica 62. Um, and I thought I'd just weigh in with a video response. Lengthy, but it's worth it. Um, stay tuned. I'm going to do reviews on a lot of things that I have. Uh, I don't have much, but um, I'm going to do a review on my bag that's chilling over there. <laughs>